Okay, I've had a few people uh, send me some messages saying that they're not really sure how to line their solar panels to face perfectly south. And it's actually pretty easy. And so I'm going to do a little instructional video on how you face your panels perfectly to the solar south. Okay, today what we're going to do is show you how to face a solar array for solar south so that you get the maximum input. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is go to a website that will have the uh, sunrise and sunset times on it. I use Weather Underground and we're going to use Chris as an example because he's moving up here to the mountain here pretty quick and he's going to uh, go off grid also so um, what we'll do is we'll go to weather underground and I'll scroll down now of course you find a website that's close to you and uh, here we have the under the astronomy tab here it says actual time for sunrise and sunset right here and you can see that it sunrise is 539 sunset is 830 <clears throat> so those are the times that we want to actually uh, start watching for our sunrise. So I prefer doing this during the summer months just because uh, the sun seems to be brighter. You don't have to mess with it in the cold. It's always cooler in the evening and in the late afternoon. There's a lot of reasons, but it's just personal preference for me. You can really do this pretty much any time of the year. We're doing it on solstice. Um, so that... Um, you know, that, that's the longest day of the year, but there's no real, it just worked out that way. It wasn't intended necessarily. But uh, anyway, what I did was the first morning I got up and I watched the sunrise. And the thing that you want to look for is any obstructions from the east. It could be a building, it could be a tree. In our case, it's a mountain. Um, so even though the sunrise says it's at 539, uh, the sun actually didn't crest over the mountain that's on the east side of us until closer to 7. So uh, we had to take that into account. So we, we say here that in our location, the sun rises at 7 a.m. Now, at uh, in the evening, it was pretty much close to that, maybe... Maybe about 30 minutes difference as well, but uh, it was more like about 8 o'clock. So what we did was we added 30 minutes to each of these. So in the morning, since the sun here doesn't really come up until 7, we took our measurement at 7.30. And then in the afternoon, we took our measurement at 8, 30 minutes before the actual sunset. Because you need a shadow on the stake that you're going to use. And... Uh, what we're going to do is uh, drive this stake. We took a T-post. We made it straight up and down, perfectly plumb, or as plumb as we could get it within reason. And it's almost sunset on the 20th of June. Tomorrow is solstice, the longest day of the year. So here shortly, as soon as the sun gets out from behind these clouds, we're going to drive this stake at the end of the shadow that's cast on the ground from this T-post. And then in the morning, we're going to come out and do the same thing, and we'll drive the stake at the end of the shadow on this side. But then this winter, we'll probably do the same thing and see how that matches up with summer, because I've always been kind of curious about that. So if Chris allows me, I'm going to leave this T-post here until this winter time, and then we can see what kind of a variance there is solar south between uh, summer and winter. You can see that's quite a distance. 
Chris has that stake driven. So we'll be back in the morning and we'll do the other stake. Okay, so this is the stake. And you can see here that the sun's coming through a tree over there. So we really even want to take into account for that. So what we really want to do is split the difference between when the sun comes up behind this tree behind me here and what we would normally do. So since we waited an hour yesterday, we've got to wait an hour for it to get over this tree too. So that way we're going to split the difference between these two um, sunrise and sunset positions of the sun. Okay, now what I want you to do is take that end of the measure, take measure, and then move it over to the stake. You probably have to raise it up over the ground. Pull it tight. 